All right, the UPS man just dropped off a package and this is what I got in the mail today. It is a Philips PM5712 pulse generator. Uh, the listing on eBay said it was dead. So we shall see. Um, calibration was done by Mark, Mike, Mike Gardner in 2016. That wasn't too long ago. Um, it uh, is kind of a cute package. It's got this bale on it, which flips underneath and pops, pops up. I kind of like that. Uh, it's got this chrome on the side, which is a bit unusual. Uh, the people who was in calibration was an Anarin Equipment Man Management Center. I don't know where they are. Um, and it's got a blue heat sink in the back. <laughs> I don't know why, why it's got a blue one, but it does. It's got a big cast iron, uh, ca cast iron, cast aluminum, uh, cast aluminum heat sink. It's, uh, it's a bit wobbly, so it won't, it won't sit down straight. And I noticed that on the bottom, this, uh, foot is bashed in. I don't know if that happened in transit to me. I don't think so. Cause it was, it was packaged quite well. So I think, uh, I think maybe this happened at some other point in time, and maybe that's why it doesn't work. It bashed into something else, too. Um, but I say we turn it on and verify that it's dead. Or fix, fix the foot. Uh, now nah, let's turn it on. Okay, let's turn it on. We get a cool, cool light. <laughs> uh, it's got like a little uh, I don't know, checkerboard type of thing on it. And, uh, I hooked up the scope probe and, uh, oh, wait a minute. It's outputting something. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, well it's doing something. doesn't look Let's see here. Oh, channel one. We're not triggering. How come we're not triggering? Maybe it's doing a weird thing. Yeah. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. Uh, let's see here. Can I get it all on screen? Yeah, let me get it all on screen here together. Um, all right. Repetition rate. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think it's kind of sick. I don't know here. The repetition rate. Delay, duration, uh, vernier, 10 volt per division, single, single pulses, double pulses, single shot. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty sick. <laughs> looks kind of sick. Normal, inverted. Let's look at the sync output. Ugh. That doesn't look good. That would be kind of, hmm. Yeah, I think this thing, uh, I think, the, ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. All right, well, getting the, getting the sink out. Let's see what we could get a pulse out. Oh, there we go. That's kind of a weird looking thing. Uh, yeah, pulse duration, rep time. Yeah, I, mm, mm. Yeah, I think it's sick. <laughs> I think it's definitely sick. Okay, well. Um, that's what I wanted. I wanted something sick that we can troubleshoot. And the nice thing about this one, it's a complete transistor design, discrete transistor design. So it'll be nice to go through the, nice to go through the circuit. So I picked this up for $9 and 95 cents. Um, I think it's a, a worthwhile investment, <laughs> uh, but it'll be good for the channel. Um, yeah, let's, uh, find a schematic for it and start to troubleshoot. All right. Uh, I've taken four screws out and the top and the bottom flew off and uh, let's take a look inside. There's nothing inside, nothing there, nothing to see here. <laughs> uh, oh, ribbon kit. Look at that. 
a, not a ribbon cable, a flex cable, a flex PCB that goes up to the, yeah, I, I've been wanting to do a flex PC board. Um, and I can't figure out the right project to do. Uh, this is a great implementation here. But if anybody has some ideas of uh, a flex PC board design they'd like to see. Yeah, I'd like to do one. Um, let's see here. Let's flip it over. Ooh, lots of goodness on this side. Yeah, lots of nice, nice uh, capacitors. Uh, pulse, pulse generator, you're going to have to have lots of nice capacitors. Everything's on sockets, so it's going to be easy to troubleshoot. Even the transistors are on sockets. I mean, I think these are sockets. Yeah, everything is on sockets. Very cool. <laughs> I like it. Um... Uh, there's some ferrite beads on the wiring here. I've got fast edge pulses. Uh, they've covered up the AC with a bit piece, piece of heat shrink. So I don't zap myself. That's nice. Um, we have some power supply back here. Uh, it's labeled uh, minus 22.5 and plus 22.5. Um, and you know this comes from Holland because it's comma, 22 comma five. Um, hmm. and this looks like some transistors here to, for the power supply that's on the heat sink. There's a transformer that's kind of hidden back there. Got some on this side. Very strange looking transformer. Pretty odd looking. And then we got some capacitors over here, which looks like they Probably have seen better day, so they might have to go. Um, so maybe this thing just needs a new power supply, right? I mean, first thing to do is check your uh, check your electrolytics. Um, but it's going to be easy to work on for sure. There's some interesting things, though. There's this is an interesting heat sink here, and uh, yeah. So the output. Mm. The output is here. So this is the out. The output comes from here. Big inductor here. It's kind of interesting. So this board is basically the drive board for the output section. Um, so this is probably the timing board, the power supply board, the output board, and this is also the uh, output board. Yeah. So it's very modular. Very nice. Pulse amplitude calibration. Any other calibration in here? Yeah, one here. Not much though. It probably relies on expensive components to, uh, to be correct. Now, have these been replaced? They may have been, yeah, I think. I think this one definitely was replaced at some time. I believe that one was replaced also. So some work has been done on it in the past, in its lifetime. They did it kind of the cheesy way. So instead of, uh, instead of removing the capacitor and desoldering it, they just clipped off the old capacitor and then tied this one to the, into the leads that were already there. So that was a bit cheesy, but it works. And this one here looks like they tacked it in a funny way too. So yeah, not the best craftsmanship on the rework, but uh, yeah, I like it. This is my tripod there. Somebody spamming me. I hate the spammers. All right, 
we won't be able to see much of this. A little bit hidden under there. All right, uh, before I find the schematics, I'm going to go ahead and just power supply since it's marked out really, really nice. There's a um, minus 22, plus 22, and 6 volts right here. So let's look at the minus 22 volts. And, uh-oh. Yeah, we got a lot of ripple. We got a lot of ripple. Let's try the plus 22 volts. Plus 22 volts. Yep, yeah, it's bad too. And the plus 6 volts. Oh, it's bad too. <laughs> Okay, all three power supplies are bad. So, okay, I guess all the electrolytics decided to dry up uh, since it was calibrated last year. Maybe they didn't bother looking at these things. Um, but, okay, well, we know what to do. First thing to do is to replace a bunch of capacitors. Maybe the thing will come back to life. Um, but in the meantime, let's, uh, let's do find some schematics. <laughs> 